All right, we are going to play Proteus. Everyone says this is the boomer shooter that we've been asking for, that it's Brutal Doom made in 2022. So we're going to give it a shot because I love Brutal Doom. So we're just going to go on the, just the standard difficulty and just see how it plays. Now, one of the qualities that makes a good boomer shooter is the story's there, but not really intrusive. So I should get right into the shooting and fighting pretty quickly here. Uh, looks like we're right in here. Okay, open this up. I have not played this before. I haven't done like a pre-review, nothing. I'm going into it just as you are. So, got a little bit of a tutorial, a little bit of jumping. That's not too bad. Don't like hold the sprint. I have to check and see if I can toggle that. We've already gone too long without a gun though, but it looks like we're about ready to get one. Maybe. Maybe. No. Love the sprites, love the graphics. The sound is good so far. Doing something. Doing something bad or good. This looks bad. I'm gonna assume this is bad. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and say that we made a mistake there. Probably shouldn't have pressed that button. Alright, we got a rune. I don't know what that does for us, but we got one. So, that's good. Organic Detective Eradicate. Alright, good game. We're dead. And that's the end of the review. Okay, I'm digging. Digging the spacesuit, digging the face in the bottom. Very Doom esque. We got fists. We can swing with different fists. Ah, oh, we can break out of our cell. Yeah, we can punch space demons, whatever the heck this thing is. I know not who I am. I know not why I was made. All I know is that I must kill. Alright, let's find a gun or something, huh? Yeah. Aim down sights. That is a nice touch that old games did not have. Who would have thought that in old school shooters you would actually want to, you know, aim a little bit, but, you know, who needs to aim? Really digging how short these levels look to be. Like, I know that was just a tutorial, but it reminds me of the old school Doom level that you could be in, you know, a few seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds. Got some sort of auto burst. Doesn't look like you have to reload, which is good. Oh wait, maybe maybe you just have to reload. Nexus point. Can't tell if this gun's automatic or what, but it feels good. Who dares to hit? A feature I really wonder if it has, so here's a really cool feature in Doom that you didn't know about until they told us about it. Essentially your life and armor in Doom are like a complete lie, like the values mean absolutely nothing. So what that means is that when you have higher health and higher armor, when you get hit, you take more damage, and the lower your armor and health gets, then the less damage that you take. So the numbers you see are like basically meant to deceive you. It's makes basically meant to make you stressed out and make you think like, oh no, I'm going to die because I have so low health, but in reality you have more health at lower health than you do at higher health. And that's a really, really cool feature because it helps to like increase the stress of the game. And if you don't know about that, then it's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I have like five hit points left, I'm gonna die. And they do all these epic things, they're like, wow, I survived with only 5 HP, when in reality, you had like half your health left, they just don't 
don't mention that. So I wonder if this game features something like that, because it's such a great mechanic that really adds to the stress of the game. Okay, why is the reload button? So that's why I couldn't reload. Can I melee? Maybe? I don't know. So yeah, that's a really cool, really cool feature from the game. So if you didn't know, there's your Doom fact of the day. Love me some Doom. And that is exactly why I got this, because everyone, everyone was saying this is just Brutal Doom 2.0. And so far, I kind of feel it. Your gun changes when you aim down sight. There's lots of blood and gore. Ooh! And charge up shots. But we got the shotgun. The classic weapon. Can't go wrong with the shotgun. Charge it up. Boom! And fire while reloading. That is all good stuff to have with the shotgun. It's not a boomer shooter without a shotgun. That's just... That's just a fact. What the heck are these things? Look at all that blood and gore. Truly, truly brilliant. Okay. How do we switch weapons? There we go. Want to make sure that we don't use up too much ammo. I wonder how it's going to have us do on ammo conservation, because that's usually like... The new Doom is very good about that, about making you constantly swap your weapons and all that. Oh, secrets! Look at that! So it's good to make you constantly use different guns. I mean, what's the point of having different guns if you're not going to be forced to use them? So... I really like that, so I hope this game is the same on that. Oh, we found the auto map. Okay. I really like the movement in this game. I really like finding the secrets. I don't know how many secrets I've missed so far, but, you know, that's half the fun of going back through the levels of the game to find them. The music is just perfect so far. Love the enemies. Ooh! Okay, now we're learning about enemies fleeing stuff at us. Ooh, explosive barrels? Those gotta be explosive barrels, right? Yeah. Gotta have the explosive barrels. I'm not sure yet if headshots make a difference or not. I'm not sure how damage is calculated in that manner, but I'm not sure that it matters entirely here. Grab a secret. Nothing else in here. Grab the nexus point. All this is open again? Burst fire. Ooh. Ooh. The gun design, though. Like, these guns feel like they have weight and impact, and that they all play differently. And that is, for sure, something that you want in a game, right? You don't want all your guns like, oh, I'm just switching guns because I'm out of ammo. You want them to feel differently and be useful in different situations. And I feel that with this already. Ooh, no, I fell. Okay, run. Ah, oh, feel how good that is. That run and gun, the reload, the, the pressure under combat, the explosion, everything going on just feels amazing. Alright, now we got some different guys spawning. Second rule of boomer shooters, never stop moving, right? I like that these feel familiar. These creatures feel like the caco demons from Doom, but they, they're not an exact copy, right? They got their own unique twists that make them a little bit different. So it's a nice callback, but also different enough that it doesn't feel like it's just a ripoff, you know? So I think they definitely did that well. Lots of ammo. Boss creature or something now? I definitely need to change the, the hold the sprint button, because hold the sprint does not feel good by default in this game. 
Love the gore smearing on the helmet. Maybe it's better if you're on mouse and keyboard. I'm playing with the controller, so that could also be the issue. Um, that's meant to be played with not a controller, but for now I'll say that's... If that's the only complaint I can find with this game, that's, that's really good, right? Ooh! See that guy? He, he saw me moving and aimed ahead of me. So it's got decent, smart AI for hitting you. As long as you're constantly moving, you're still going to take hits if you're not actually actively dodging. That's good. We like smart AI. Alright, we get everyone? There's a ton of guns. If all these are truly like guns you can unlock, all those marks are... Like, look at that. That, that. Those are all the different kinds of guns. We're in for a treat. Alright, let's mow through these guys. Again, I'm not sure if headshots actually make a difference yet or not, but we're gonna we're gonna try and figure that out. Because why not? Why not get as many headshots as we can? I don't know what these nexus points do yet. Uh, Oh, I see. You can fire them together for more damage, or you can fire one at a time and then reload the other one so you can do like a non-stop firing if you want to. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. I dig it. Out of ammo and that gun. So, back to shotgun for a little bit. I don't know what that guy was doing, but now he is a fine red mist. Lots of ammo again. Thank you, thank you. Let's go down here. I think we were already down here, weren't we? No. Down here. The levels are definitely twisty, turny, and... labyrinth-like. Um... Didn't we already... Oh, maybe the Nexus points are... Are those checkpoints? Is that what that is? Because I activated this one already, I thought, so... Maybe that's what that is. Okay, maybe we're figuring some more stuff out. Alright, let's take a look here. So unfortunately, I had to finish playing the game off camera, but as you can see, the level was decently long. I think some of that was spent on the pause menu, so it's definitely not 36 minutes long, but there were only 20% of secrets were found, so tons of secrets, tons of enemies. I definitely recommend this game. It does feel exactly like Brutal Doom 2.